Hello everyone. In this period of fasting and prayer, I believe we must have encountered some hardships and challenges, but I encourage everyone to persevere. When we continuously seek God's face, he would not let us down. Knock and it will be open for you. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Today, I would like to remind you at the beginning of 2024, we come before God to fast and pray and seek his face. Let us think about how to love God even more. How can we have a bigger breakthrough this year? How can we grow? How can we improve when we continually seek after God and deepen our love for him in a deeper and greater way? you will experience an unusual breakthrough. Matthew chapter 22 says, Jesus speaks of how we can love God, that is with all our heart, soul, mind and strength. It means to use our whole heart. And our soul and our emotions and our mind to love God. Jesus said this is the first and the most important commandment. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 tells us this way, what we need to grasp whole and value today that will last eternally are only three things. That is faith, hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. So God truly cares and values. He commands us to love him with our heart, soul and mind. So value your love towards God. So when we obey, Proverbs chapter 3 tells us, when our love towards God is unwavering and long-suffering, what does the Bible say? Verse 3 tells us, It says when we persevere in God and place the love of God like a necklace around our neck and write them deep within our heart. Here it says we will gain favor. We will definitely gain the favor of God. Besides that, we will gain the favor of man too. Furthermore, it tells us we will earn a good name. a good reputation we will gain understanding and good knowledge some other versions even say we will have greater success so when we love god the bible tells us we will receive greater success we will receive greater knowledge we will have greater reputation we will have favor of both god and men So regardless where we're from, when we gain grace and favor of men, do you know doors will be open for you? Problems will no longer be a problem. So I encourage brothers and sisters to set a goal this year on how can we love our Lord even more. Matthew chapter 22 told us that we need to love the word of God with everything, meaning all our heart, soul, mind and strength. In what way? The Bible had shown us. So this year, I encourage brothers and sisters that we set a greater goal. That is, how can we love God wholeheartedly? We can extend our personal devotion with God, or maybe you might not have the time for devotion. In the upcoming time, I encourage you to set a daily or weekly devotion. How can we arrange for a personal devotion? In what part of the day? How to read the Holy Bible? How can we commit to follow God? How can we be faithful unto the commands that God has given us and not neglecting to meet one another? How can we pursue God faithfully? However, we did it last year, we can definitely do it better this year. We can definitely improve and grow. We can definitely break through.
So I encourage brothers and sisters, this year, we set a goal. How much should I read about the Bible? How many chapters, verses, and how many books? So I believe when we commit to love God, God says, we will find favor with both God and men. It means a kind of being promoted. We will be promoted above the average person and earn this reputation from God. So I encourage everyone, this year, I believe God wants us to break through and grow in loving Him. Some of us might say we don't want to love God anymore, but I encourage everyone, what does the Word of God say? From where we have lost our first love of God, our passion towards Him, from there we should repent. We want to get up from where we have fallen. Let us come before God once again and tell Him, Lord, I hope to break through to love you even more. No matter in which area of my life, I hope to deepen and strengthen my love for you. Revelation chapter 2 tells us, To everyone who is victorious shall gain fruit from the tree of life. The fruit from tree of life means never-ending provisions, never-ending help from God, never-ending opportunities, never-ending strength and breakthrough shall be given to us when we continuously keep the first love and passion towards God. We love God wholeheartedly. The Bible also tells us, besides loving God wholeheartedly, we are to love others as ourselves. Matthew chapter 22 says, Love your neighbor as yourself. This is the foundation of all laws and prophets. So this year, let's set a goal. How can we love our wives even more? Demonstrate our love to her. Apart from that, how can we love our parents even more? In Exodus chapter 20 says, Honor your father and mother. How can we honor our parents even more? How can we love each other more? How can we love our brothers, our sisters, those around us? I believe God has moved you to set goals to love others as yourself. When we demonstrate our love, how can we improve? What breakthrough do we want to see? What can I offer? Book of Matthew tells us, if you are presenting a sacrifice at the altar, and remember an offense, leave your sacrifice there and see what offense was it, then reconcile to that person. So I believe God is reminding us to forgive. In John chapter 1 verse 4 says, if we love God, we would forgive those who hate us, those who lie to us. So God wants us to forgive. Those who forgive will be forgiven. We have witnessed what is love. We need to let go of the offense in our relationship with others and how to improve our relationship with others. We must set a goal. So number three, when we say we love God, we are to obey His command. John chapter 14 says, when we say we love God, we also demonstrate our obedience to Him. I believe in 2024, in the area of listening to the Word of God, obeying His command, the vision God gave us, the Antioch Church vision, the M100 vision, mission that He has given us. How can we demonstrate our obedience to Him? I believe when we've set these goals, God will definitely use the desire, the hope and the faith of our lives, our family, our career to perform miraculous works. We can do it. God bless you.